So continuing 5.3, solving um, quadratic equations using roots. Let's take a look at example four. We have a stunt man working on a set of a movie, and he falls out a window that's 100 feet above the ground. For the stunt man's safety, an air cushion 26 feet wide by 30 feet long by 9 feet high is positioned on the ground below the window. For how many seconds will the stunt man fall before he reaches the cushion? Well, his initial height is 100 feet, and this is the equation to find out um, when he falls. This is the end height equals negative 16 t squared plus the initial height. Well, his initial height was 100. So we want to find out his end height, and his end height is actually what we know by this. It's We know the width, the length, but we also know the height. It's 9 feet tall. That's where the cushion is above the ground, so I can plug a 9 in there. So when I go to solve this to find all the like terms, I can actually um, move all the numbers under this side, which ends up giving me a negative 91. I can take this uh, negative 16 times t squared, and I can divide both sides by negative 16. So the negative 16s cancel out, the positives over there cancel out, and I can square root both sides to get plus or minus 2.4 seconds. So about how many seconds will the stuntman fall before he reaches the cushion? Um, not negative time, so it would be positive 2.4 seconds, basically. It only take about 2.4 seconds to reach the bottom. Hey, how about a nice Hawaiian punch? So a movie camera operating at a speed of 24 frames per second records a stuntman falling. How many frames of film uh, show the stuntman falling? Well, 24 frames per second, and he falls at 2.4 seconds. So 24 times 2.4. 57 frames. So 57 frames of film will be needed. So there's the homework. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to email me or um, hopefully there'll be more examples online for 5.3 for you to uh, take a look at. Um, and we shall talk later. That was a preemptive